Hello, my name is Abdel Zurg. I'm a pediatric surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Uh, that's a division within the realm of general surgery, but we are our own section of pediatric surgery here. Um, pediatric surgeons really deal with the growth and development of children just like pediatricians do, except we operate on them. We're really physicians or pediatricians that operate, and that's the best way to think about us. We have special training in general surgery, and we go through general surgery, but on top of that, there's an extra period of training for at least two years um, within its own specialty that we specialize in children. 100% of our practice are uh, children, that means from the fetus essentially all the way up until 18 years old. So some of the diseases that we deal with are very common. One of the most common diseases that we deal with as pediatric surgeons are hernias. They really are very common. They're some of the most common procedures that we do that happen to children. Children, the younger they are, when they even are born, sometimes they have hernias. The younger they are, the more likelihood that they're going to have complications to a degree that if a child is less than one years old, there are many pediatric surgeons that advocate that you operate on the other side at the same time, which is looking at the contralateral side. So you have a boy with a right-sided hernia, they're two months old. Many people will automatically go to the other side and operate looking for a hernia because really, really, it, really it is a 30 to 50 percent chance that there's going to be a hernia on the other side. That's one option. The other option is just to say, don't worry about it. There's only a 30, for, 30 to 50 percent chance that you're going to have a hernia on the other side. And this is just in the infants um, that are less than a year old. And anesthesia really is so good right now in pediatric hospitals that you can wait. And if the other side comes, then you get another procedure with another anesthesia. What we've done is incorporated the very best in minimal vasus surgery, especially in these hernias in infants less than one years old, where we look through the same incision that we've made on that right-sided hernia, for example, we take a one millimeter camera and take a look at the other side. Well, how do we do that? It's usually about one centimeter in size. We find the hernia. We're about to ligate it. We do a normal procedure just like we would every single day, except instead of closing the hernia, we place a small little catheter and blow up the belly with some carbon dioxide, which is what we always do for minimally invasive surgery. So basically, we get the patient ready for minimally invasive surgery. We ha now have these cameras that are one millimeter in size. Now let me get that in perspective. They fit through an IV. That's right, through an IV. A 16 gauge angiocatheter that you get for an IV as an adult, instead of using that as an IV, what we do is we put it through the belly and put the camera and the scope right into the IV and take a look from the inside to see does that patient have a hernia on the other side. If they do, they get operated on immediately, the diagnosis is made, the hernia on the other side gets repaired, there's no guesswork on that. However, if there's no hernia, then we can tell the parents reliably there was no hernia on the other side, there's no need to come back and there's no need to worry about it, we're done for now, you don't need another anesthetic. So that really is, in my opinion, one of the best applications, even in the small babies. We've done this in babies as small as 1.5 kilos when we want to look at the other side and make sure that there is no hernia on the other side. So that does two things. One, it tells the parent reliably about the other side. And the other thing it does is eliminates the chance that you're going to go in for a negative exploration. Basically, you don't get an incision on the other side just looking for that 30 to 50 percent chance that there's a hernia. If there's no hernia, what it really costs you is the size of an IV. What a pediatric surgeon does is operate on the neck, chest, abdomen, and pelvis. Now here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, we also have other specialties, and that includes pediatric neurosurgery, pediatric ear, nose, and throat surgeons, pediatric orthopedists. And the real benefit being here at the Mayo Clinic is that we can mobilize all of these specialties within the realm of surgery and the pediatric specialties so that the child can get worked up almost within 24 to 48 hours. We can get CAT scans, we can get MRIs, we can get other imaging studies, all within one visit so that we can give the parents the very best opinion that we can.